believe truly that you can achieve anything? That money, fear, or your current life circumstances aren't standing in the way of your dream life? Hey y'all, I'm Lillian Glanton. I'm a multi-passionate entrepreneur in my early 20s. And since the age of 18, I have created several businesses from absolutely nothing. And before you ask, no, I'm not a trust fund baby. I started these businesses with no connections and zero experience. These businesses that were once fantasies I dreamed up now employ people all over the country, serve multiple industries, and ultimately make an impact not just on my own community here in Alabama, but around the world. I'm here today to tell you exactly how I did it and how you can do it too even if it sounds like it's near impossible. Remember that question I just asked you? What if I told you that the key to having everything you could ever want in life comes down to one simple word, innovation? What if I told you that through innovation, you already have everything you need to begin? I started my first business when I was 18, just four short years after I was on this little TV show called American Idol which I got let go from the show early on, but that's another story for another time. When I came to the realization that becoming the next country music star was not in the cards for me, I opted to switch gears. At the time, I was a broke college kid right here at UNA with $12 in my bank account, but somehow, by the grace of God, things started to work out in my favor. After winning a couple of local business pitch competitions, I managed to rack up $10,000 to help grow my first business, a riding facility and performance venue here in the Shoals, Alabama. My first taste of success was the minute things started to fall apart. Three months after I opened the doors to this dream business, the COVID pandemic forced me to close the building down completely. I was broke after spending all of my money and now I was bound by a lease, an electrical bill, and not to mention that the music industry was slowly falling to its death. Scrambling, I moved the entire business online and created a whole new experience for my customers. And this is where I discovered something revolutionary. I figured out how to make money on a hand-me-down laptop with a little bit of effort. As I was building this business, I also started to build a digital marketing company on the side. And before I knew it, my digital marketing company started to take off. And just like the first time that TV show crushed my dreams, I had to make the uncomfortable shift and pivot and cut some things off in order to find growth. I eventually let the writing facility and performance venue go and focus solely on my digital marketing company. I found that the one way that I could employ my passion for music, along with my business savvy, was to create a new space that didn't previously exist. I then started the Muscle Shoals Songwriters Festival at the tipping point of the COVID pandemic, just as everything was becoming free and clear and everybody was itching for live music again. And since then, I have created several other businesses with hardly any money and no experience. So, I'm here today to tell you exactly how I did it. And I'm sure the first question you have for me is, Lillian, this sounds great, but where, again, where do I even start? According to a study conducted by Zapier, over 61% of Americans have an idea for a business, a side hustle, an innovation, as one might say, but they never started. The number one reason why they never start this business or side hustle is because of a lack of funding. Well, I don't remember Steve Jobs having a million dollars before he started Apple, or Jeff Bezos having a wad of cash before he started Amazon. But these guys did get one thing right. They allowed themselves to be innovative just long enough to ultimately change the world. Just like the thousands of brilliant leaders before you and I, you have an innovative idea burning inside of you. Maybe you want to start something new in your hometown. Maybe you want to switch jobs and become a player within a new company. But the fear of it not working out, 
not wanting to put yourself out, not wanting to put yourself out there, or never having the time, or the worst one, looking like a fool to your family and friends, are all excuses that we tell ourselves. The difference between successful people and others is this. Successful people allow themselves and give themselves to the freedom to innovate without these fears holding them back. All of us were once kids in a classroom. And if you walk into a kindergarten classroom today, you will see five-year-old children creating entire cities with nothing but two crayons and a blank sheet of paper. When was the last time you allowed yourself to ditch the parameters and start from scratch? When was the last time you took out a sheet of paper and wrote something down just for fun? Not a doctor's appointment reminder or grocery list, but an idea or a thought that comes to your mind often that could quite possibly change your community or even change the world. First is to eliminate your excuses, and the second is to mitigate the mundane. As adults, we're told to grow up, go to college, get a job, buy a house, and start a family. We're hardly ever or sometimes never told to innovate, take the risk, spend the money, or chase the wild dream. As adults, we tend to forget these things. As kids, we were told that we could be anything we wanted to be. Remember that? We were told that we were allowed to play on the playground even if we were at risk of falling off the monkey bar. But as adults, we tend to forget that falling off the monkey bar will not be the death of us. It might just lead to the very breakthrough that we've been searching for. A lady by the name of Brawny Ware wrote a book called The Regrets of the Dying. She was a hospice nurse that would interview people as they were closing in on their final chapter of life. The number one regret of the dying is this. I wish I had the courage to live a life that was true to myself rather than living a life that others expected me to live. When you give yourself the freedom to innovate, you start to live a life that is true to you and not the life that others expect of you. For just a minute, I want you to think about this big gravity idea in your head. You got it? Picture this big, huge idea in your head that you're wanting to see come to fruition. And now I want you to picture yourself standing on a stage and looking into the lives of all the people that you could help if you were to bring this big idea to fruition. Maybe you picture your future children or grandchildren. And it could be one person, it could be thousands, it could be millions. It doesn't matter. Picture yourself standing on the stage and you're looking into the lives of all of the people that you helped because of your big idea. Especially for your family. Let's say you created generational wealth for years and years to come. Because you had the bravery and the courage to live your dreams, they get to live the life of their dreams. And they also get to do that for the people around them. Let's turn the tables. Now I want you to picture yourself, and in five minutes, you're going to be gone. You're laying on your deathbed. Maybe you have laugh lines on your face, or maybe you're thinking about all of the memories that you've made over a lifetime. And maybe they're beautiful memories. But if I told you you only had five minutes left to live, would you have any regrets? what would those regrets be? Most people associate great innovators with extreme wealth. One great idea and bam, you're rich. As Mother Teresa said, it takes a checkbook to change the world. Money is an amazing thing, but wealth is many things. 
being rich in life, rich in joy, rich in passion, in love, isn't that what we all want? Because it's what we all deserve. It's what you deserve. And I want these things for you. So at the end of the day, when you allow yourself to eliminate your excuses, mitigate the mundane, and inspire with innovation, you will have this richness in life that everybody is constantly searching for. So today, I want you to go look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm an innovator, baby. And go do the dang thing. Thank you.